the function of function is composite function if one function is present inside the other function we call it as composite function function of function is composite function inside log we have root inside root we have sin inside sin we have it here whole power 2 means a plus b the whole square equation into d by dx of internal function what is internal function 4x cube plus 5 1 by 2 root of f(x) into d by dx of f(x) two types we have done one is f of x power n what is differentiation of f of x power n n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of function of function of function of function it is a composite function welcome to the session dear students in today's class i'll be discussing important concept that is chain rule so now differentiation is a great tool which will help you for application of many situations using the differentiation as a tool we have wide range of application so first we have to become thorough with the basics that is first we start with chain rule so now before starting with chain rule what is a composite function composite function is what function of function So a function of function is composite function. If one function is present inside the other function, we call it as composite function. Function of function is composite function. To differentiate composite function, apply chain rule. To differentiate composite function, apply what chain rule? So for example, so we have different types of functions. Suppose if I write sine of log x, this is not sine x or log x. Inside sine we have log x. inside sign we don't have variable inside sign we have function so function of function like the different types of functions we call them as what composite functions if you want to differentiate composite function we have to use what rule chain rule so now the first type so type wise we'll go and discussing d by dx of f of x power n so all of you know the basic formula d by dx of x power n what is d by dx of x power n n into x power n minus 1 What is d by dx of x power n? n into x power n minus one. So now d by dx of f of x power n. So this is not x. This is function of x. So d by dx of f of x power n is n into f of x power n minus one into. So if it is x, we'll stop it here. But this is inside. We have function of x. So into d by dx of chain. That is into d by dx of internal function. So now, for example. d by dx of sin cube x so function of x power n i can write it as d by dx of can i write this as sin x the whole cube now this is in what form this is in the form f of x power n what is d by dx of f of x power n n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of f of x So now it is in the form f of x power n. So n into f of x power n minus one. What is n? Three. Three into sine x power three minus one into d by dx of internal function. What is internal function? Sine x. Or three into derivative d sine x whole square into d by dx of sine x is cos x. So now I wrote d by dx of sine cube x. So first type. Started with that is f of x power n. So now let me take as many problems as possible to discuss this type. Let me summarize once again. All of you know the formula for x power n. What is d by dx? Derivative of x power n. Derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus one. So this is x and this is x. Differentiation of x power n is n into x power n minus one. All of you know this. Now suppose if you have d by dx of Instead of x, if you have f of x power n, what we'll do? So n into instead of x, we have f of x n into f of x power n minus one into d by dx of f of x. My dear students, inside if you have x, we'll write n into x power n minus one. We'll stop. But inside I have function of x. If you have internally function, if you have inside a function, then d by dx of internal function you should use. Again, if you have inserted one more function, again you should use d by dx of internal. The chain continues. That's why we say chain rule. So now, what is d by dx of f of x power n? 
n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of inside function. What is inside function f of x? See, you can say it resembles x power n. What is differentiation of x power n? n into x power n minus 1. Like the differentiation of function power n is what? n into function power n minus 1 into d by dx of internal function. So, many examples we can take for this. One by one. I will go on taking. First one, I will take. First, I will take 4x cube plus 5 whole power 7. So, if I ask you to differentiate this function, so if I ask you to differentiate this function, here whole power 2 means a plus b the whole square you can use, whole power is 7, you cannot do binomial expansion and waste your time. So, in spite of that, directly d by dx of 4x cube plus 5 power 7. So, now if you observe, it is in the form f of x power n, it is in what form? f of x power n, what is derivative of f of x power n? n into n means what 7 7 into f of x means 4x cube plus 5 n into f of x power n minus 1 7 minus 1 then it will come 7 into 4x cube plus sorry 7 minus 1 see if it is x power 7 I will write 7 into x power 7 minus 1 I will stop but inside I have function into d by dx of internal function what is internal function 4x cube plus 5 chain rule what is chain rule it is in the form f of x power n what is the answer n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of internal function what is internal function 4x cube plus 5 so that is 4 7 into 4x cube plus 5 into d by dx of internal function what is d by dx of 4x cube all of you know 4 is constant take it outside and apply d by dx for what x cube plus apply d by dx for what 5 further Further simplify this. If you simplify this, you will get 7 into 4x cube plus 5 into 4 into what is derivative of x cube? d by dx of x cube is 3x square plus derivative of 5 is 0. Or if you know d by dx of constant is what? 0. So further simplify 7 into 4x cube plus 5 into 4 into 3 is 4 into 3 is 12 x square or if simplify 7 into 12 12 into 7 84 x square into 4 x cube plus 5 you can write it in simplest form I hope all of you got this so f of x power n what is derivative f of x power n n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of internal function internal function is what 4 x cube plus 5 so, 4 is constant, take it out. Apply d by dx for x cube and then apply d by dx for 5. <coughs> what is derivative of x cube? Derivative of x power n is what? n into x power n minus 1. So, derivative of x cube is 3 x square and already we have 4, 4 into 3, 12, 12 x square and derivative of 5. 5 is what? Constant. I taught you yesterday. All numbers are constants and derivative of constant is 0. And few more simple examples let us consider. So, if I ask you to find d by dx of log x log base e x whole power 5 my dear students again this is in what form function of function function power n it is in the form f of x power n it resembles this so what is derivative f of x power n n into that is 5 into log x whole power 5 minus 1 n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of internal function what is internal function log x that is 5 into log x power 4 into d by dx of log x is 1 by x so finally what is the answer if you simplify you will get 5 log base e x power 4 by x this is the answer so i hope all of you are familiar with the type 1 so let me conclude type 1 and we'll go to the next one so what is type 1 d by dx of function power n if you have it resembles x power n what is x power n n into x power n minus 1 like that f of x power n is what n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of internal function what is internal function f of x we derive this from what d by dx of x power n what is derivative of x power n n into x power n minus 1 and one example, any example you can take, d by dx of, if I ask you people to find value of sin x whole cube or sin cube x, 
आंसर इज वॉट थ्री साइन स्क्वायर एक्स इन टू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स वॉट इज डेरेवेटिव साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स आई आस्ट यू पीपल टू बिकम थ्रो विद ऑल द फॉर्मुल सो इट बिकम थ्री साइन स्क्वायर एक्स इन टू डेरेवेटिव साइन एक्स इज कॉस एक्स so now we are done with type one now we'll go to the next one d by d x of root f of x d by d x of what root f of x first answer my question what is derivative of root x d by d x of root x is what one by two root x yes you can write it in the form x power half and use the formula for x power n and it's time based remember the basic derivative of root x what is derivative of root x derivative of root x is one by two root x what is derivative of root x 1 by 2 root x. Now similarly, similarly, in spite of root x, if they ask d by d x of root f of x, what is d by d x of root f of x? Answer is 1 by 2 root f of x. Derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. Derivative of root f of x is 1 by 2 root f of x. And we would have stopped if this is x, but this is not x. This is what function. So into d by d x of internal function. What is there inside f of x? so this is the basic so make a note of this and become thorough what is derivative of root f of x 1 by 2 root f of x into d by dx of f of x and we'll go ahead with one example let us consider one example for this so i'll take uh, d by dx of root tan x so all of you know it is in the form root f of x so what is derivative of root f of x 1 by 2 root f of x answer is 1 by 2 root f of x 1 by 2 root tan x into d by dx of internal function what is there inside tan x so finally you will get 1 by 2 root tan x into derivative of tan x is secant square x and the final answer is secant square x divided by 2 root tan x this is the value of what dy by dx so let me repeat The type two that is derivative root f of x. What is derivative root f of x? One by two root f of x into d by dx of f of x. So what is derivative root tan x? One by two root tan x into d by dx of tan x. What is derivative of tan x? Secant square x. So finally we'll get secant square x by two root tan x. Next, one more example. So I hope all of you understood this. Sir, copy this. Now answer my question. Let me take some more formats. I hope all of you are thorough with the formula. What is derivative of uh, trigonometric functions? Derivative of sine x is cos x. Derivative of cos x is minus sine x. D by d x of tan x secant square x. D by d x of cot x minus cosecant square x. D by d x of secant x secant x into tan x. D by d x of cosecant x minus cosecant x into cot x. And all the trigonometric functions, all the standard functions, x power n. Derivative of x power n n into x power n minus one. Derivative of log x one by x. I hope all of you revised all the formula. Now, the second example for this. Now, before we go to this, let us uh, recollect what is differentiation of root x. One by two root x. What is differentiation of root of f of x? One by two root f of x into d by dx of f of x. Suppose if it is root x, we'll write one by two root x and we'll stop. But inside root, we have in function. So into d by dx of internal function. So now one example. So if I give y is equal to root log x, and if I ask you to find root log x, if I ask you to find dy by dx, by default, if I don't write base, it is log base e. Or now I wrote also. So y is equal to root log x. What is dy by dx? So dy by dx means to differentiate both sides with respect to what x. If you do that, LHS becomes d by dx of y. RHS becomes d by dx of root log x. And is it in the form root f of x? The given question is in the form root f of x. What is derivative of root f of x? One by two root f of x into d by dx of f of x. So this will become what? One by two root log x into derivative of log x. That is one by two root log x into derivative of log x. What is derivative of log x? One by x. So finally, one one is one. Simplify two root log x into x. So final answer. I wrote it. So. Two types we have done. One is f of x power n. What is differentiation of f of x power n? N into f of x power n minus one into d by dx of f of x. What is chain rule? External formula into derivative internal function. As long as you have internal functions, go on differentiating the internal function and write them as product. Now two methods we have done: d by dx of f of x power n 
and second one d by dx of root f of x now we'll go ahead with third one derivative of e per f of x e power function suppose all of you know before we go to this answer my question what is d by dx of e power x what is differentiation of e power x e power x easiest formula d by dx of e power x is e power x now similarly now what will be d by dx of e power f of x my dear students this power we call it as internal function this power acts as internal function so d by dx of e power x is e power x like that d by dx of e power f of x is e power f of x only but if this is not x this is function of x so into d by dx of internal function so now what is internal function f of x so derivative of e power f of x is e power f of x into d by dx of f of x example if i ask you to find d by dx of e power sin x what is derivative of e power sin x e power x is e power x like that e power sin x is e power sin x into d by dx of internal function what is internal function the sin x so finally you will get what e power sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x so final answer is e power sin x into cos x now we have other important values that is suppose if i ask you to find d by dx of e power e power x cube so i gave e power x cube it is not e power x the whole cube so it is e power x cube so now it is in the form again e power f of x what is derivative of e power f of x e power f of x is e power f of x into d by dx of internal function internal function means this is cube and e power x cube into what is d by dx of x cube it is in the form x power n what is differentiation of x power n n into x power n minus 1 so you'll get 3 i'll write outside and it will be e power x cube into x square so this is the answer now i hope all of you understood e power f of x now we we'll have standard functions like this so d by dx of e power 5 x if i give if it is e power x we'll write e power x it is e power 5 x so it will be e power 5 x into d by dx of 5x that is e power 5x into 5 is constant take it out and apply d by dx for x then it become 5 i'll write outside then i'll write e power 5x and do you know derivative of x is 1 so it is 5 times e power 5x 5 times e power 5x we're done with this now coming to this now d by dx of e power f of x is e power f of x into d by dx of f of x and simple logic see here if there is constant here constant comes out so d by dx of e power kx will be what k into e power kx means it become e power kx and differentiate kx kx becomes k into derivative of x is 1 d by dx of x is what 1 and if i ask you to find d by dx of e power m sin inverse x what is derivative of m sin inverse x you know derivative of e power f of x what is derivative of e power f of x it is e power f of x into d by dx of f of x derivative of e power f of x is e power f of x into derivative of f of x so it will become e power m sin inverse x is e power m sin inverse x into d by dx of m sin inverse x all of you know m is what constant take it out so e power m sin inverse x m is constant take it out and apply d by dx for what sin inverse x i hope all of you know the formula for sin inverse x what is derivative of sin inverse x 1 by root of 1 minus x square so finally we will get e power m sin inverse x into m into derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square or finally it will be m into e power m sin inverse x divided by root of 1 minus x square these are the different problems so e per f of x is e per f of x into d by dx of f of x now we have done three different types now i'll go to the fourth one a power f of x for that first you should be thorough with the formula what is differentiation of a power x d by dx of a power x is a power x into log base e a where a is what a constant for example if i ask you to find d by dx of 3 power x 3 is what constant all numbers are what constant so 3 power x is 3 power x into log base e 3 that's it so now a power x is a power x into log base e a like that a power f of x if i ask you to the find the value of d by dx of a power f of x 
डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए पावर एफ ऑफ एक्स इज ए पावर एफ ऑफ एक्स इंटू लॉग बेस ई ए इंटू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए पावर एफ ऑफ एक्स इज ए पावर एफ ऑफ एक्स इंटू लॉग ए इंटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स नो दिस इज अ फार्मूला फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई आस्क डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ फाइव पावर सॉरी फाइव पावर साइन एक्स Please observe it is in the form a power function. A power function is a power function into log base e a into derivative function. So it will become what? Five power sine x is five power sine x into log base e a. A means what? Five into derivative of the function. What is the derivative of internal function? The power that is sine x. So finally you will get five power sine x into log base e five. Into derivative of sine x is d by dx of sine x is what cos x. So this is the answer. Phi power sine x into log phi into cos x. So what is the format? D by dx of d by dx of a power f of x is a power f of x into log a into derivative of the function. So on this power acts as what internal function. The power acts as what internal function. So now we'll go for simple. Composite functions sine of f of x inside sine of your function. So external is what sine. What is derivative of sine? Cos. So like that we can develop so many different cases to make you understand. So now sine of f of x d by dx of d by dx of sine of inside sine you have function. What is derivative of sine? Cos. Cos of f of x. If it is sine x, I'll write cos x. Differentiation of sine x. All of you know the formula list. So what is derivative of sine x? What is derivative of sine x? Differentiation of sine x is what? Cos x. So d by dx of sine f of x is cos f of x. If it is sine x, I'll write cos x. But this is sine f of x, so it will be cos f of x into d by dx of internal function. What is internal function? F of x. Examples. Example. D by dx of sine. Root x, my dear students, inside sine I don't have just x. Inside sine I have function of x called root x. So what is derivative of sine? Cos. So sine root x is cos root x into d by dx of internal function. What is internal function? Root x. That is cos root x into derivative of root x is one by two root x. Or it will become cos root x divided by two root x. All of you know what is d by dx of root x? One by two root x. Now, if it is function of function of function, the chain continues. Now, coming to this, let us uh, consider this problem. So, let me take some more. So, now suppose if you have tan of tan of sin x. So, please observe. Inside tan, I don't have x. Inside sin, I have. Sin. So first format is sine of f of x. Now it is tan of f of x. For that, first you should know two formula. First, what is differentiation of tan x? What is d by dx of tan x? D by dx of tan x is secant square x. What is d by dx of tan x? Secant square x. Now d by dx of tan f of x. So now if I ask you to find d by dx of tan of sin x. Now what is differentiation of tan secant square? So if it is tan x, if it is tan x, I'll write secant square x. Now this is tan of sine x, so it becomes secant square. Derivative of tan of sine x is secant square sine x into d by dx of internal function. What is the internal function? Sine x. That will give you secant square sine x into derivative of sine x is cos x. I hope all of you understood. Now we'll dissolve everything. So now we'll read. Function of function inside one function. If you have another function, you have to continue the chain. For example, I'll take a format like this: log of root of sine of root a sine of x cube. Please observe. I wrote a function. I call this as y. What is y? Log inside log. I have root inside root. I have sine inside sine. I have x cube. Now, if I ask you to find dy by dx, find what dy by dx. So now this is 
inside log we have root inside root we have sin inside sin we have x function of function of function of function it is a composite function function if it is present inside other function it is composite function of function of function so now external formula into derivative internal function what is chain rule external formula into derivative internal function what is external log so use the formula for log so what is differentiation of log x what is d by dx of log x derivative log x is 1 by x so now in spite of x we have big term so inside the log we don't have x we have function so differentiate both sides if i do i'll get d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of log of root of sin of x cube to make you understand i'll do in more steps now derivative of log is what 1 by x what is differentiation of log x 1 by x now this is log f of x inside log f function so it become 1 by f of x what is f of x root of sin x cube into d by dx of internal function what is internal function root root of sin x cube please understand i am applying chain rule derivative of log is 1 by f of x into d by dx of internal function what is internal function root of sin x now we will continue now it is in the form of root f of x 1 by root of sin x cube into derivative of root what is derivative of root what is derivative of root f of x 1 by 2 root f of x 1 by 2 root sin x cube i would have stopped it but inside root i have function into d by dx of internal function what is internal function sin x cube next step the chain continues that is if i multiply all the numerators 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 divided by root sin x cube into root sin x cube becomes so root into root becomes root of sin x cube whole square into 2 into d by dx of sin x cube what is derivative of sin cos cos of x cube into d by dx of see if it is sin x i'll keep i'll write sin if it is sin x i'll write cos x and i'll stop but inside sin i have function so derivative of sin is cos x cube into d by dx of internal function what is there inside x cube the chain continues so this will become square square root i'll cancel so it will become 1 by 2 sin of x cube into cos of x cube into derivative of x cube is 3x square so now further simplify numerator becomes 3 into x square is 3x square you know cos by sin by 2 denominator 2 let it be or of you know cos by sin is what cot x cube you can write or you can leave it here so please understand i took a big function that is function of function of function of function provided x is in x is the domain of this so now this is a value first i applied log log is what 1 by x 1 by f of x and then i applied root root is what 1 by 2 root x then i applied sin f of x that is cos f of x then f of x. so like that is the way we applied to get the answer next let us consider some more problems so we love problem like sin of log x 5 sin of log x 5 sin log x then sin after sin i don't have x after sin i have sin log x so we should read this as 5 times sin log x means sin of log x now differentiate both sides if i differentiate both sides i'll get d by dx of y means d by dx of 5 into sin log x use all the rules all of you know the rules if you have k into f of x take the constant out and differentiate the function so 5 is constant take it out and differentiate only sin log x or if you know the rule so i taught you rules in the first class what is the rule i taught you d by dx of k into f of x constant into function means take the constant outside and apply d by dx for what f of x so 5 is a number number is a constant take it out and apply d by dx for what sin of log x and what is derivative of sin of log x all of you know derivative of sin of log x it is derivative of sin is cos if it is sin x i'll write cos x but it is sin of log x so derivative of sin of log x is cos of log x into d by dx of internal function so inside sin we have function into d by dx of log x further simplify this if you simplify this you'll get 5 cos log x 
into d by dx of log x is 1 by x. So, final answer is 5 cos log x by x. Now, I am doing all the steps. You can reduce the steps and you can do directly. Let me summarize what I taught you. Today, I started with composite function. What is meant by composite function? Function of function. If one function is present inside other function, we call it as composite function. And to differentiate composite function, you should use chain rule. External formula into derivative of internal function. As long as you have internal function, into derivative of internal function continues. That's why we say chain continues. In today's class, the first and foremost thing I discussed is d by dx of f of x power n. What is d by dx of f of x power n I taught you? It will be n into f of x power n minus 1 into d by dx of internal function. What is internal function? f of x. Then the second type what I taught you is d by dx of d by dx of after f of x we ta I taught you root f of x. Use the formula. What is d by dx of root x? 1 by 2 root x. What is derivative of root f of x? 1 by 2 root f of x into d by dx of internal function. What is internal function? f of x. Then we discussed d by dx of e power f of x. Derivative e power f of x is what? e power f of x into d by dx of f of x. See, like this you can go on writing, but the conclusion is what? So, whatever is internal function, the chain continues. If it is internal function, the chain continues. Let me take one simple and interesting example to conclude all. So, suppose if I have e power root of x power 5. Now, what is dy by dx? dy by dx is d by dx of e power root of x power 5. It is in the form e power f of x. What is derivative of e power f of x? e power f of x is e power f of x only. e power f of x is e power f of x into d by dx of internal function. Internal function is root x power 5. Further, you can r, you can write d power root x power 5. You can do in two forms. Can I write it as root means 1 by 2, 1 by 2 power 5. So, root means x power 5 whole power 1 by 2 will become 5 by 2. Now, you can use x power n formula. e power root x power 5 into x power n is what? 5 by 2 into x power 5 by 2 minus 1. That is e power root x power 5 into take LCM. That will become 2 is LCM. 5 minus 2, 3 by 2. Like that we can apply this and solve. So, in today's class, I gave the basic logic to differentiate what the function of function that is composite functions i hope all of you are thorough with the chain rule so many different types we discuss please practice all these things watch this session carefully and learn each type of problem what i have done and then if you attend my next session then you can understand so please follow this revise this and attend my next session we'll go ahead with many more problems and types of differentiation thanks for attending i'll see you in my next session thank you